I'm back. I know it's been a hot minute. Actually, it's been a year, but I had a baby and I'm using that as an excuse. I spent the last year just enjoying her and um, I never forgot you. I took a million videos. I just have to edit them and get them up for you. This is one of them, so don't mind my crazy hair. Um, but anyways, we're just going to jump right into it. This is a video of um, how I copycatted a vase I saw at Crate and Barrel that was like $95 and I just couldn't justify spending that on a vase or vase. I'm not really sure. Depends on who you are, I guess, how you say it. Any hoodles. Um, so right now I have, oh, my son has decided to be the cameraman, um, but I have an old can of paint that I found in the garage of our new house and some baking soda and so i'm just gonna use some nail clippers and open this can don't judge me and it's the perfect color and i'm just gonna pour some baking soda in now i don't have measurements for this um but i just kind of wung it and went until it was a texture that i thought was good uh, i think it kind of ended up looking like cementy um, by the time i was ready to apply the paint I found the vase on Facebook Marketplace, and so I got two of them for $20. So it was $10 for the vase, free paint, and I think it was like $1.97 for a can or a box of baking soda at Walmart. I just grabbed the cheap stuff because I knew it was going towards a project. So we're just mixing away here, and I wish I could share the chat that my son and I had here because he was talking to you guys on YouTube, giving a play-by-play -play of what was happening, and it was pretty adorable. But I'm just going to mix this up, and then I will jump to when I paint it for you. Quickly, before I get to the painting, I wanted to zoom in and show you the process of it. Um, being mixed together so you could get an idea of the texture. I'm sorry for the shaky camera. It was my five-year-old at the time. <laughs> um, so it is what it is, folks, but um, hopefully you can uh, get the idea. Okay, so here we go. Here is the vase and I'm just going to start painting. I don't really have a rhyme or reason to my painting methods. I honestly was just winging this project, but that just shows you how easy it is to dupe something so incredibly expensive, in my opinion. $100 for a vase is like just unrealistic for me. Um, so I am just kind of going for it here and I figured if I mess it up, well then, so what, you know, it was, $12. <laughs> um, but anyways, so here we go. I'm just gonna um, show you me painting it. I did have to do a few layers. Um, I'll just kind of zoom through it for you because I'm sure it's quite boring. And then I'll show you a close up what I did at the end. Okay, so here I just want to show you how it's shaping up so far. Uh, it has quite a bit of texture, but it's still pretty see-through actually. Um, so I have to do some more coats, but I'm liking the way that it's turning out. Uh, I would like to get rid of some of the brush strokes. Um, so now that it's had a chance to dry a little, I'm going to just go back in with the exact same routine, same uh, paint that I was using before, and just go for it. So I'm going to zoom along here and I'll show you at the end. I do have to just say there really was no rhyme or reason to the way I was painting this, um, but I enjoy the way that it turned out. Looking back on it now, I probably would have done a few more coats because it's still not perfect, but it's good enough, folks. It's good enough for me. Um, I think I did... A fairly decent job <laughs> um, but you can tell me in the comments what you think about my handiwork and my crappy camera work I'm so sorry I uh, I don't know what to say about that it does show you uh, a pretty good chunk of the texture though so that's pretty good 
And then I'm just showing you here that you can still see through it. And I was actually using the light to try and paint some of those spots. Um, but here we go. Here's the mainly finished product. Um, I'm just going to stick some of that grass. What is that called? That stuff right there. <laughs> pompous grass it's called pompous grass or pampas grass i don't know how to say it anyways if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching to the end 